On Illustrious Men by St. Jerome.org Preface You have urged me, Dexter, to follow the example of Tranquillus in giving a systematic account of ecclesiastical writers, and I do for our own writers what he did for the illustrious men of letters among the Gentiles, namely to briefly set before you all those who have published any memorable writings on the Holy Scriptures from the time of our Lord's Passion until the fourteenth year of the Emperor Theodosius. A similar work has been done by Hermippus, the Peripatic, Antigonus Caristius, the learned Satirius, and the most learned of all, Aristoxenus, the musician, among the Greeks, and among the Latins by Varro, Santra, Nepos, Hyginos, and by him through whose example you seek to stimulate us, Tranquillus. But their situation and mine is not the same, for they, opening the old histories and chronicles, could, as if gathering from some great meadow, weave some small crown, at least for their work. As for me, what shall I do, who, having no predecessor, have, as the saying is, the worst possible master, namely myself? And yet I must acknowledge that Eusebius Pamphilius, in the ten books of his church history, has been of the utmost assistance, and the works of various among those of whom we are to write often testify to the dates of their authors. And so I pray the Lord Jesus that what your Cicero, who stood at the summit of Roman eloquence, did not scorn to do, compiling in his Brutus a catalogue of Latin orators, this I too accomplish in the enumeration of ecclesiastical writers, and accomplish in a fashion worthy of the exhortation which you made. But if perchance any of those who are not yet writing have been overlooked by me in this volume, they ought to ascribe it to themselves rather than to me. For among those whom I have not read, I could not, in the first place, know those who concealed their own writings, and in the second place, what is perhaps well known to others, would be quite unknown to me in this out-of-the-way corner of the earth. But surely, when they are distinguished by their writings, they will not very greatly grieve over any loss in our non-mention of them. Let Celsus, Prophyri, and Julian learn, rabid as they are against Christ. Let their followers, they who think the church has had no philosophers or orators or men of learning, learn how many and what sort of men founded, built, and adorned it, and cease to accuse our faith of such rustic simplicity, and recognize rather their own ignorance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, farewell.